Colon Broom markets itself as a supplement to quote, relieve constipation, lose weight, and reduce bloating. Other than having a hilarious brand name, do any of these claims have any merit? Let's take an in-depth look at Colon Broom for weight loss to see if it's worth your money, see if we can replicate it with a cheaper alternative, and give it an overall rating. The only active ingredient in Colon Broom is powdered psyllium husk, a commonly used soluble fiber supplement. Like many other soluble fibers, the primary way it helps with weight loss is by suppressing your appetite and creating bulk in the stomach when mixed with liquid, by filling your stomach up without significantly adding more calories to your diet. Now, when we look at soluble fibers, the bulkier and thicker a soluble fiber is when mixed with water, the more effective it would hypothetically be at suppressing appetite, since thick, viscous liquids delay gastric emptying and essentially make it more difficult for you to eat too quickly and too much. However, the downside to bulkier and thicker soluble fibers is that it tends to cause more gastrointestinal side effects like becoming constipated, especially if you don't drink enough water with it. So how does Colon Broom's powdered psyllium husk compare to other soluble fibers? Well, psyllium husk is a pretty bulky soluble fiber and can hold up to 10 times its weight in water. It's also quite cheap to produce, making it a popular choice for many other soluble fiber supplements, like Metamucil. Metamucil's active ingredient is also powdered psyllium husk. However, it's been slightly refined in a way that allows it to become dissolved almost completely in the water. Colon Broom and many other psyllium husk powders are not as refined and contain more insoluble components in the powder, which often show up as small brown or white specks when mixed with water. There is no significant difference in the bulking effects between them all, meaning Metamucil, Colon Broom, or any generic psyllium husk powders will likely be very similar in terms of their effects on weight and constipation, as long as you use similar doses. However, Metamucil often uses artificial sweeteners like aspartame and artificial colorings, while Colon Broom uses stevia for sweetening and vegetable juices for coloring. So if you aren't a fan of artificial colors or sweetening, Colon Broom or just getting a generic psyllium husk powder might have the upper hand here. But Metamucil also sells a version with no sweeteners and natural coloring, so you'll have to check the ingredients of the specific version of Metamucil you're getting. Also, if cost is an issue, getting a generic psyllium husk powder will be the cheapest by far. Even Metamucil will be more cost effective, costing around $15 for over a month's supply, while Colon Broom can be $65 a month. Now, psyllium husk is not the only soluble fiber used to help with weight. Two other popular soluble fiber drinks include chia seeds and glucomannan, which is often sold under the trade name PGX. While Colon Broom's powdered psyllium husk can hold up to 10 times its weight in water, chia seeds can hold up to 15 times, and glucomannan can hold up to 50 times. Glucomannan has a relatively high proportion of soluble fiber per weight, meaning that when it's dissolved in liquid, it tends to be thicker and hold more water than other soluble fibers. This property makes glucomannan an ideal soluble fiber to create this appetite-suppressing bulkiness in the stomach. It shouldn't then come as a surprise that glucomannan tends to be more effective than psyllium husk in suppressing appetite and supporting weight loss. At the same time, the excessive thickness makes glucomannan cause more gastrointestinal side effects than the other soluble fibers, making it less suitable for dealing with constipation. Most soluble fibers are relatively safe to take, although it might cause some people minor gastrointestinal upsets like gas, bloating, or mild abdominal pain. Make sure you mix it with enough water or it could constipate you worse. Gastrointestinal obstructions and blockages are rare but possible when taking a soluble fiber supplement. So if you have medical issues that put you at risk of an obstruction, like abdominal surgeries or Crohn's disease, make sure you check with your doctor before you try it. Soluble fiber drinks like Colon Broom are typically taken before a meal, mainly to help reduce overeating at that meal. So it's only gonna help if you're already reducing your food intake and need something to make your stomach feel fuller on less food. 
it's not going to help much if you're not controlling your diet already, tend to snack too often, or tend to stress and binge eat. Even if it does help, don't expect miracles. Up-to-date research on soluble fibers suggests it can help with improving cholesterol or blood sugar levels, things that are related to obesity but don't really show any significant weight differences. This means that soluble fiber drinks are mostly supportive of weight loss, but likely don't cause any weight loss themselves. Again, this should drive home the point that you need to be managing your diet already for soluble fibers to help. Overall, Colon Broom is essentially an extremely overpriced flavored psyllium husk drink. It'll work basically the same as any other powdered psyllium husk. It's pretty expensive with a monthly supply costing around 65 US dollars. You can achieve Colon Broom's effects by just getting powdered psyllium husk that can be purchased cheaply in bulk with a monthly supply costing closer to $2 to $3 a month. You could then flavor it yourself with whatever you wanted. Crystal Light, True Lemon or True Lime if you don't want any artificial flavorings, mix it with any juices or smoothies you make, or just infuse it with real fruits. Rating Colon Broom by effectiveness for weight loss, I'm giving it a C. It basically works to manage hunger and taking it without already reducing your food intake is not likely going to have any effects on your weight whatsoever. Rating it by cost, I'm giving it an F. A monthly cost of $65 for flavored psyllium husk is way too expensive, especially since you can get psyllium husk powder in bulk at 20 to 30 times less. Rating it for safety, I'm giving it a B. Psyllium husk at the doses that Cole and Broom provides is relatively safe to use, provided you have it with enough water. Overall rating, I'm giving a D. I would not recommend it at all. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know can use the info.